Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Chase Briscoe's Ford Performance Racing School Ford from 2021. As always, take a look at the box. Now this guy has, you know, his own box, so that's kind of nice. You don't have one of those generic team boxes. Got Chase Briscoe, picture of Chase in the High Point Fire Suit, number 14, Stuart Haas Racing. Got the Sunoco Rookie of the Year Contender logo. Down the side, you got Chase Briscoe, Sunoco Rookie Contender. Got a render of the car right there. Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish. Made a total of 504 of these things. Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish, number 14. Chase Briscoe, number 14, Stuart Haas Racing. 2021 NASCAR Cup Series, Sunoco Rookie of the Year Contender, Action Racing Collectibles, and all of that. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. Chase Briscoe raced this for about half the season. Basically, High Point in this kind of had, you know, mostly half the season, minus a few random other sponsors and stuff. Chase Briscoe was getting, what, five, I believe, 14 cars made this year, ignoring the Rookie of the Year car, because we don't know if that matter MLQ yet, but he's got the High Point, this one, then he's getting his throwback made, his patriotic High Point made, and then the Ford, like, Mustang, Global Mustang Week, whatever that was, the orange car from Richmond. So... He have a nice variety. I'm really sad they didn't even offer his mobile car. He had that sweet mobile car for the uh, August Daytona race. It was like solid metallic silver with like the blue and red lines all throughout it. It looked sweet. I'm really disappointed we never got that. Well, this is another great paint scheme from him. I'm really disappointed that they didn't keep the kind of black old school numbers on this car from his Xfinity car. Because when he had the Ford Performance Xfinity car, it had the, you know, black circle number with the old school 98 on it. I kind of wish they would have continued that, but still a good paint team. This basically kind of looks like how the Ford Performance Racing School cars look. They're white Mustangs with, like, the blue stripes, or I think some of them are blue with white stripes. Which, if anyone doesn't know, this is a real sponsorship. Because, you know, a lot of people, when they see, like, a, you know, manufacturer on the car, they think it's just, like, an unsponsored car. But Ford is really behind Chase Briscoe, and Ford legitimately does sponsor him. Definitely is a really cool looking car. Said he ran high point for half the year, this for half the year, basically. But he also ran them swapped. Like, he would run this car with this paint scheme with high point on the side. He'd run the high point car with four performance on the side. It was always kind of a dual sponsorship deal. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Ford Performance Racing School and a big Ford logo. Got Ford Mustang, number 14, and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you got Ford Performance Racing School. Got Haas Automation, Ford Performance Racing School, and Rush Truck Centers. You got Ford GT500 Track Attack. Down here you got High Point, One Cure, Exalta, Cummins, and Atlas Copco. Nothing on the C post. On the B post you have Ford, Haas, DeKalb, and Rush Truck Centers. That was one of the other cars they offered this year was the Rush Truck Centers, but that got DMP'd. It was just at the Boyer paint scheme again, so it doesn't really surprise me. You got another Ford Performance Racing School logo up here. So Rush Racing this year did usually use that logo or like the, that spot for one of their sponsors. Most of the time it was just the primary sponsor on the car, but occasionally it was something else. Like some of Harvick's later cars had Subway right there. But Chase Briscoe's name on the roof and everything. Not on the roof, on the windshield. Other than that, has your regular contingencies and such. Has the Sunoco Rookie of the Year Contender logo right there next to Sunoco. On the back, you have Ford Performance Racing School. Got the Ford Michigan license plate, Mobile One, number 14, and your rookie stripes down there. Got Ford Performance Racing School on the deck lid and the roof. This is number 324. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. I'm just noticing it's, that 14 seems like it's really low on the door on this diecast. I wonder if the real car was like that. Am I crazy for thinking that? But it seems like the 14 is like all the way down to the side skirt. Like there's a lot of space up here, but I don't know. Whatever, just a really cool paint scheme. So there's not a whole lot to talk about the car like this. This is basically just one of his primaries. But I love these kind of Ford Performance racing cars. I was never able to get last year's, which I hate, because, like, last year's one of those cars that just got immediately very rare for some reason. Like, Chase Briscoe's an awesome guy. 
I'm definitely a fan of Chase Briscoe, but, like, I don't understand how he, he was popular enough to get a car that, like, goes to, like, $150, like, day one. Like, I just, like, what, what did I missing about that? It's a cool car. Like, I, I mean, I, I was kind of hoping they would somehow maybe go back and offer one of last year's cars in the new mold or something. Because they only really, they didn't really make many diecasts for him last year. They only made his Darlington win, his High Point, and then his Ford Performance Racing School last year. They didn't even make his throwback. I think Lionel kind of knew last year with the Xfinity body how they didn't update their Xfinity mold that they, I think they were really trying to avoid making any Xfinity cars because they knew how awkward they would look on the old body with the new, you know, all the new decals, but on the older body. But if you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. If you use the code BWAC, you can get free shipping on any order over $20. So go check out if you want anything. That's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Chase Briscoe's Ford Performance Racing School Ford from 2021. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.